So what is up guys? Hope you're doing well wherever you are. This is Nick here from Everything Tech. And in this video, what we're gonna have is a ZTE Z Max 2 for AT&T Go phone. This also comes unlocked, same specs. Gaming review. Basically what we're gonna do is hop in a bunch of games and we're going to check them out. We're going to hop in through these games right here. Asphalt 8, Modern Combat 5, Subway Surfer, Glow Hockey, My Old Game Boy, Temple Run, Planets vs. Zombies, Crossy Roads. And we're going to see how this baby performs right here, right now. If you haven't checked out all the other ZTE ZMAX 2 videos I made, go ahead and leave a link down below in the description and the card up here. The purpose of this video is to help you decide if you're going to pick up this phone for, you know, you want to play games on it. This can help you out as well as those other videos I made. A lot of people aren't making videos on this phone, so that's why we're gonna do that. So if you wanna see that, stick around, and uh, let's go, guys. All right, guys, well, let's start this uh, gaming review out by checking out the CPU Z, and what we're gonna do is basically check how much clock speed we have. So we're at 1.21 gigahertz, and uh, Basically, all that means is you got mid-range specs here. Pretty decent device. Um, let's see how what's the GPU on this uh, system. And uh, I don't know where the GPU is showing it over here, but uh, I think it's a 306. Let's see the device one more time. Let me know if you've seen it in here, but we don't want to waste too much time on this. So uh, GPU, Qualcomm GPU, 310, Adreno 306. There it is. So anyway, let's get back into the device and uh, Asphalt 8. Let this load up real quick and let's see how this performs. Now let's see Game Loft. And uh, this is a pretty immersive experience. Even though this is only 720p, this game looks pretty damn good on this device. So, and we're going to see how it performs. Now I did test these games out before I did the review. I don't want to just do this on camera and just, you know, kind of just make it out of nowhere. I wanted to test them before so they don't have to all load up. So let's uh, claim this gift. Let's hit play. Let's see how long that takes to load. Hit X. Let's hit classic. Let's hit next. Let's hit next. Let's hit start race. About 75 steps just to get into the game. So basically what I'm going to do is leave a timestamp down below for each one of these games so you're not sitting here through this whole review because loading each game up, each game up is going to be a little bit long. So maybe we'll just do that. So if you want to skip to particular games, go down below in the description and check out that timestamp. So yeah, let's let, let, let this load up real quick. Well, not real quick. It seems like it's taking a little while to load this game up, but this is a high graphic game. So with an Adreno 306, that's not the 320 or, you know, the higher ones, but here it is. It's loaded up and let's see how it performs. Graphics look stunning, as you can see, on this 720p display. And let's get into it, guys. Let's go. Woo-wee! So as you can see, frame drops are very nil to none. I'm not seeing any problems there. Let's go through here. And uh, steering seems to be all right. Graphics look solid. I'm still not seeing any frame drops here. So performance is looking great. Load times are a little bit longer than you're gonna expect on a more higher end device, but as you can see, graphics are looking great. So let's hop out of this game and let's go into Modern Combat 5. So this is another game on the ZT Z Max 2. And I think I'm gonna pause the recording here, let it load. Well, actually it's loading up. Let's see how long it, it takes. Right when I said that it loaded up, ironically. But I guess it's extracting files. Yeah, we'll be back when this loads up. All right, guys, we're back. I had to tap to continue. That took about eh, 45 seconds to a minute to load. But I didn't want to, you know, keep keep you waiting on this game. So it's a little hard to see, but we're underwater here. About to start swimming. As you can see, Game Loft Productions. This game is really fun. I highly recommend you check it out. Modern Combat 5. If you're into... Or Blackout, whatever it's called. You know, Modern Combat. I'll leave the game, the actual game name, in the uh, description, but I believe this is Modern Combat 5. But anyway, let's get into, let's get out of this water and show you a little bit of how, how it performs here. Just want to get an in-depth gaming test just to make sure that we're going to get a superb gaming experience for our $80 that we spend on this device. <laughs> it's just pretty incredible what you can do on a device that costs this much. It's just insane. Let's jump over the ledge here. I, I can't really play this game too well with, you know, behind camera. So 
I think that's my old guy I'm shooting at, but let me know, you know? But anyways, you can see things work pretty well on this game. And uh, yeah, that's another, you know, little look at gaming on the ZTE Z Max 2. Let's hop back out of here. Let's go into a more casual game, Subway Surfers. And uh, yeah, I did notice a little bit that the loading times are a little bit slower than what you're going to expect on a flagship device. So just beware of that. Um, it's nothing that's going to break the, you know, make you say, I don't want this device anymore. I think it's, uh, you just have to practice a little bit more patience than you would with something like an LG G4, Galaxy S6, and even some of the older flagships. But that loaded pretty solidly on here. And let's see how Subway Surfers performs. Looks well. Looks very enjoyable and it's very color rich. This screen is very enjoyable for what you pay. It's very color rich. Viewing angles are pretty solid. Not the best I've seen. This reminds me a lot of the Galaxy Note 2 screen without the AMOLED. So if you remember the Galaxy Note 2, that screen without the AMOLED, that's what you get here. But the Galaxy Note 2 when it came out was $700. This is $80 right now. So yeah, Subway Surfers is going to get the job done. So yeah, let's hop out of there because that game's pretty boring, you know, to me. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think of Subway Surfers if you love that game. That's awesome too. Let's play Go Hockey real quick. Now this is a, I wanted to mix it up. I wanted to put, you know, a few of these like lesser graphic intensive games and then some of these more graphic intensive. And I haven't seen this before, but I guess we're watching ads in video games now. So thumbs down for that. <laughs> Not on this video, but thumbs down to them, you know? <laughs> so yeah. This, obviously this game is gonna perform well. I don't know what phone can't play this game. This game is not very graphic intensive. But as you can see, you can still have fun on this device, no problem. Let's go back out and let's play one of my older, classic 1985 games. Let's play Super Mario Brothers. Let's go ahead and see how this runs. Now this is an emulator. Okay, I'm getting a little bit too much into this, so let's head out of here. And let's try Tempo Run real quick. Just want to show you all these, you know, mixtures of games, just so you know exactly what to expect from performance. And uh, if you haven't been paying attention, this device can handle pretty much what you throw at it. So... Not going to be a problem there. With a 410 and 2 gigs of RAM, I don't see any issues right here on the ZTZ Max 2. The only thing that really I don't like about the ZTZ Max 2 is its camera. <laughs> that's the only thing. But that's because I'm a YouTube, I make YouTube videos, so I'm used to have, uh, using higher quality cameras. But for everyday people, the camera's going to be solid. But as you can see, Tumper Run, no problem. It's only one of my favorite games back in the day. Don't play it too much anymore. But uh, yeah, let's hop out of Tumper Run. And uh, let's go to Planet vs. Zombies. Plants vs. Zombies. And uh, let's decline that. You know what? Screw that game. I didn't load that game up. Let's go into Crossy Road real quick. Um, let's see. This will be the last one for this test, the Crossy Road. And then we might hop in between the apps just to see if they're still loaded in the background. And uh, we got Hipster's Whale right here. Okay. We got Crossy Road. Hipster Whale. And uh, check it out. Looking pretty sweet, though. Okay. Woo! No stutters here and there on Crossy Road. I wouldn't expect Crossy Road to stutter, but actually, I have seen Crossy Road stutter on the Amazon Fire Kindle stick TV thing. But uh, that's a TV thing, so I guess it's a little different. But wow, Crossy Road is just as enjoyable as you would get on something like the iPhone 5S. And uh, you don't have to spend $800 to get it. So, basically, that'll be it on these games. Let's go and uh, hop in between them to see if they're still open. So, that had to reload. Let's go to Temper Run. That was still open. Sweet. That was open where it was, but we didn't go into Planet vs. Zombies. Let's go back and uh, keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, let's go back into Modern Combat 5. That had to reload entirely, so... So the higher graphic games are going to have to reload entirely because, you know, you see, they, they take a lot more power. So Android, what Android is doing is it's basically shutting down the apps in the background do, to keep the phone running smoothly. So this is actually a good thing. Um, even I think higher end phones will shut those higher graphic games down. I think it's a lollipop optimization kind of thing. So uh, 
yeah, the lower graphic games will stay open in the background. But overall, as you can see, gaming performance is pretty solid on this device. And as you notice, I got the Google Now launcher. So uh, shout outs to making your ZTE Z Max pure butter Android, just the way I like it. I say butter. I mean marshmallow. I think we're past the B stage of the, you know, the letters game. I'm thinking, what are they going to do when they get past the uh, X, Y, and Z on, on, you know, Android? We'll probably be like 40 or 50 years old when that happens, but <laughs> what do you know? But basically, that's it, guys, for this gaming review. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead, hit that thumbs up down below. It ensures me to know that you enjoyed this video and you like what we're doing over here. And uh, yeah, let's keep it going. Subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, have a great day. I will catch you all next time, guys. Later.